Jonathan Kramer with his mentor, Joshua Elias. And that one. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joshua Elias, and I've had the pleasure of working with Jonathan for the last six months or so on his <coughs> topic, which he's going to be talking to you about tonight, which is coping with autism. Good luck. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jonathan Kramer. I'm 25 years old. I work in Ormondstow two days a week, and I do various administration tasks like archiving, bundling, and scanning. I am going to talk to you about my time at Langdon and my topic today is coping with autism. Before coming to Langdon I was very isolated, I had no friends in school and I felt left out. I was fully statemented in a mainstream school. People pretended to like me and wanted to be my friend. On my final year of school, the special needs teacher called my dad in for a meeting to talk about what I'm going to do after I leave school and she told my dad about Langdon and she felt Langdon would be the best place for me. My dad got in contact with Langdon and sent me there and I started at the college. I started to feel more accepted and happy. Langdon College gave me life skills, how to live independently, how to shop, how to cook and how to clean. I learned IT skills such as turning on a computer, how to use a computer and numerous Microsoft Office programs. Before, being at Langdon has made me feel more accepted as a person and how to deal with the outside world. When I moved into Langdon community, I shared a flat with someone else and I lived semi-independently. I started off doing voluntary work to build on my skills, then over time Langdon found me paid work. Since coming to Langdon, I started to feel much calmer and, a, and have a better relationship with family and I don't pester them. I want a group of friends and I've even read a parenting book on autism that's written by a lady who was the principal in a special needs school. The book covers all stages of the child's life and it's helped me a lot and I don't feel desperate and needy to have friends anymore. As I know now from reading the book, it explains it's common for people with autism to be left out and feel isolated and not have any friends. People with autism Cat with autism uh, do want to have want to have friends, and some are either happy on their own or just want to have be, have a few friends. They can have difficulty developing friendships. My time at Langdon has given me the chance to be part of a community and live an independent life. Thank you, Langdon. Thank you. 